Hello everyone in the multiverse and beyond. This is your friend forever, Evan LeFevre, with a new video. Today we are going to be discussing the soul. Your spirit. Your conscious soul. Alright? And the first thing <clears throat> we need to do when we talk about your conscious soul is we have to talk about the common misconception that your consciousness is a direct result of your brain okay because that's not entirely true all right <clears throat> your consciousness exists inside your soul your soul is what is conscious when you are conscious your soul is experiencing that consciousness through the brain through the body okay <clears throat> your soul controls your body through your brain okay if your body was a car your brain would be the steering wheel and the pedals and all the controls and in the driver's seat is your conscious soul okay so <clears throat> your soul experiences this reality through your eyes through your ears through your sensory inputs okay because all of your sensory organs are sending electrical signals up to your brain and your brain fires off electrical synapses that give your soul information about what's going on with your body in relation to three-dimensional space around you okay so our body is like a vehicle for the soul all right because <clears throat> our soul has consciousness okay our soul can hear our soul can see okay it can perceive our soul can perceive but without a body our soul cannot manipulate and interact with this three-dimensional physical reality okay so our body is a vehicle for our soul to not only perceive this reality but to interact with it okay so what I'm trying to explain is that consciousness exists and can exist outside of the body okay now I have personally had many out-of-body experiences before and near-death experiences where I have been in my conscious soul floating outside of my body looking around the room and being able to look down and see myself laying there okay this has happened to me more than once and I know it's real and in this spirit form I was able to fly around the room and I could possess the bodies of my of anything human beings or one time I did it to my cat and I could see out of her eyes my conscious soul was in her body and I could see out of her eyes and then I came out of her body and I could also hear the thoughts of the people in the room okay I could hear their thoughts I could un I could understand their thoughts all in spirit form but when you're in soul form when you're in your conscious spirit form like I said you cannot you can perceive you can see you can hear you can sense but you cannot interact okay you can scream all you want and the people that are in this physical reality are never going to hear you, okay? 
and <clears throat> you can't move physical objects while you're in this soul form, in the spirit form. So, if you're finding it hard to believe that your consciousness is a product of your soul, then all you have to do is to look to your dreams for proof. Okay? Now, <clears throat> when we experience reality, our eyes, our ears, our skin, our taste buds, they're all giving us the information of what to experience through our reality. Okay? They're giving us all that sensory input. <clears throat> but when we sleep and dream, we experience a reality in our dreams where we can see, where we can hear, where we can speak, where we can feel, where we can interact, okay? We have seen it in our dreams that we can see, but we never use our actual eyes to see in our dreams, do we? No, we don't. When we hear things in our dreams, we don't use our actual ears to hear things, okay? When we feel things in our dreams, we don't use our actual skin to feel that touch or that experience. No, we don't. Because when we're awake, let me put it to this way. I, <clears throat> dreams are a product of the spirit not the brain when we are awake our soul experiences reality through our brain when we dream our brains experience the reality of our soul that's something that I wrote earlier tonight that inspired me to make this video okay so what that means is in waking life reality all, all of our reality is dictated to us through our sensory organs. And that input is, is gathered from our environment, our reality. But when we dream, we're not using any of our sensory inputs. Okay? And our dreams are not a product of our brain. When we dream... Our brain is experiencing the reality of our soul. Okay? So our, when we dream, our soul is dictating to the brain what reality is. Instead of the brain dictating to the soul what reality is. Okay? So, like I said... I know for a fact that consciousness exists outside of the body. I have been outside of my own body in my soul form and I have bear witness to this fact that your soul can see without eyes. Okay? Everyone seen the Oculus Rift? this virtual reality visor you put on that you can experience any reality with you move your head around and you can experience augmented reality well our eyes are like augmented reality for our soul okay we don't our our soul can see without using our eyes okay but our eyes give us a very distinct perspective of where our body is in relation to 3d space and the environment around us so our eyes are not just a tool of the body but they're you know a tool of the brain and the soul now 
the interesting thing is when you start thinking about it the the soul is more or less trapped in the human body while we are alive on this planet our soul is trapped in our body okay it's nestled tightly in there and it does not want to break loose except for when we go to sleep at night and our soul does break loose and communicates the data to our brain and we experience it as a dream okay so the the brain is when you when you're sleeping your brain when you are inside your body when you are stuck inside your body your consciousness is dictated to you it's like you have the oculus rift on you see what your eyes see and only what your eyes can see okay from this perspective of where your body is in relation to your eyes now when you're in spirit form and you go out of body you're not using your eyes to see you're seeing wherever you point your perspective field of vision toward okay <clears throat> so it's a lot like when you're out of body it's a lot like seeing reality with your eyes except like i said you can float around you're not tethered to a heavy body that can only pivot its head certain degrees when you're in your spirit form you can look all around okay you are the consciousness in soul form okay and when the reason why we can't remember a lot of our dreams when we wake up is because your soul doesn't have the same memory as your brain okay your brain has the memory function okay and your soul has a different function in terms of memory all right and the basic the moral of the story is like i said as long as our soul and our consciousness is trapped in our human mortal bodies it's like having an oculus rift glued to our face 24 7 okay it's like having an oculus rift glued to your face 24 7 being stuck in these human bodies that we're in okay but once you go out of body you have a near-death experience or when you die you realize the truth that your consciousness is independent of your brain function okay that when you're you're just using your body okay you're just using your body to interact with this world through all right when that brain shuts down the consciousness doesn't the body does okay the consciousness continues a seamless transition okay because when you die you're thrown out of your body okay you no longer resonate your soul no longer resonates within your body when you die okay when you die in your brain your brain is what connects your soul to your body okay that's what tethers your soul to your body is your brain okay and when that brain shuts down and the body shuts down the soul does not shut down the consciousness does not shut down 
the consciousness becomes <clears throat> it projects out of the body immediately upon death okay and you see you hear and there's more to life than just what we perceive on this three-dimensional physical density plane that we are on okay when you die you can no longer interact with this physical world but there are suddenly non-physical worlds that appear when you die the same non-physical worlds that you experienced in your dreams okay but <clears throat> I'm gonna do a more in-depth video on dreams and what exactly dreams are at a later date but like I said this video is all about the soul your conscious soul and yes you do have a conscious soul all right and it can see and it can hear and it can move around wherever it wants to it's completely weightless able to propel itself in any direction without the use of energy okay you have no idea your spirit is trapped here in these bodies like a prison okay and but it's I hate to look at it that way you know <clears throat> I hate to look at <clears throat> because once you're out of your body like I said you're trapped out of your body and you're trapped away from being able to interact with this physical reality ever again okay so either way you're trapped all right so you know like I said when you die your spirit leaves your body and you can see what's going on around you and you can hear what's going on around you and in the past before I came along me and my son Jesus Christ before we came along <clears throat> when a human being would die they would their consciousness would go outside of their body and they would be trapped on earth forever okay as a ghost as a spirit unable to interact with the physical world ever again free to forever explore the earth and see everything and hear everything but restricted in their ability to interact with the physical world ever again Jesus Christ and I we use technology <clears throat> to at the moment of death to actually be there to help guide someone's conscious soul to the kingdom of heaven where their soul can be relocated into their new immortal heavenly body okay so that their consciousness can then interact with physical density yet again okay so they can have a physical form all right and it's pretty cool technology how it's done because in the kingdom of heaven we have advanced technology that allows us to take on a spiritual density at free will which means we can leave our body and go out of body at will and just fly around do whatever we want as a spirit form okay we can go on to different planes of spiritual density we can also enter different planes of the dream realm but like I said I'm gonna save that for another video the main focus of this video is to explain the soul the consciousness of the soul and how our consciousness exists in our soul not in our brains not in our bodies okay like I said if our body was like a car 
our eyes would be like the windshield and all the controls, the pedals, the steering wheel, that's our brain and our consciousness soul is in the driver's seat. Okay. That's why, you know, and someone who's blind, that's like having all your windows blacked out on your car so you can't see. If you got out of the car, you could see. Just like if you go out of body, you can see without using your eyes. When a blind person has an out of body experience or they die, they can see the world around them. Okay? But it's their eyes forcing them to not be able to see, forcing their spirit to not be able to see. Okay? So just know that you know this eternal life exists okay eternal consciousness exists okay eternal consciousness exists by default all right your consciousness is going to last for eternity nothing can stop it okay and because of Jesus Christ and I and the advanced technology from the kingdom of heaven eternal life is possible okay so you're not just a disembodied spirit for eternity but you can actually have physical bodies and interact with other people with physical bodies for eternity in the kingdom of heaven okay so I want to thank you all for watching this video. I'm going to leave a couple videos in the comments section below for more information on the science fact reality of the kingdom of heaven that exists in deep and outer space. And a couple other videos for you to enjoy. So thank you so much for staying with me through the whole video. Thank you very much if you liked or subscribed to my channel. And I want to wish you the best and sweet dreams every time you have them. So, uh, until we meet again, this is your friend forever, Evan LeFevre, signing off.